All right, let's check back in on the weather. We are tracking storms, at least Alicia Wilson is. She joins us now on what to expect. Well, that's right, Charles. Gray skies on the horizon, and we're awaiting the arrival of some rain and possibly even some thunderstorms. Here's a look at your dog walking planner. Over the next couple of hours here, we're going to be in the clear around 69 at 8 o'clock, but we'll go with the yellow paw because we'll start to see some of those scattered showers pushing in around 10 o'clock and even some rumbles of thunder as we head into the overnight. So we'll go all red there. We've got a busy radar looking at the satellite and radar image. Several thunderstorms working their way through central Illinois. Illinois and the rain slowly working its way from west to east across the central and the western half of the state of Wisconsin. So, so far we've been dry in Milwaukee, partly cloudy skies and the temperature actually bumped up one degree now at 74, but we're going to see some 60s later on tonight. So let's walk through future forecasts here real quick. We'll start it here at a quarter after six. It's around 1130 or so. It looks like we'll see that heavy rain pushing in and possibly even a few rumbles of thunder. That's going to be stretching from Milwaukee County as far south as Kenosha County and some isolated to widely scattered activity stretching from Whitewater into West Bend. So that'll be that first wave of rain. Then early Tuesday morning, a couple more scattered showers possible, but that gets all out of here around 7 o'clock and will be mostly cloudy and breezy to kick off your Tuesday morning. We'll see a brief decrease in the cloud cover before a second cold front begins to push farther towards the south, and that'll help to initiate a couple of more scattered showers, but it looks like we won't see much in the way of thunderstorm activity for tomorrow afternoon. It'll be cooler and a little bit more of a stable atmosphere for us, but here's a look at your rain chances over the next 24 hours. The highest will be around 10 o'clock and from there becoming more scattered around midnight. And then there goes that second wave pushing through right around 3 a.m. in the morning. So the highest rainfall totals estimates looks like it'll be north of Milwaukee, about one inch possible in Port Washington, a little bit over that in Sheboygan, and about three tenths of an inch is going to be possible in Milwaukee. 74, that's our high for tomorrow. Some upper 50s, lower 60s headed your way at least over the next two days. And 75 on Wednesday will gradually warm back up into the upper 70s and lower 80s as we get into Friday by the weekend. Here comes that heat and humidity again. With that, some afternoon thunderstorms will be possible. 88 for a Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy up to 90 by Monday. That's more like summer. We'll be right back.